Just installed Graphene OS and not sure which settings matter? This is Sovereign Privacy, and here are the exact settings I change on every new Graphene OS phone. My approach, no Google services on the phone, minimal apps, and settings that make privacy automatic. Let's get started. First, lock screen and physical security. Why does this matter? You don't want people, whether by accident or on purpose, picking up your phone and seeing the contents of your messages or your emails. And you don't want someone looking over your shoulder when you're entering your PIN. So here's what I do. I turn off all notifications on my lock screen. Go to Settings, Notifications, Notifications on Lock Screen, and toggle off Show on Lock Screen. This is a personal decision. Some people want to see notifications on their lock screen, but I don't. Next, scramble pin input layout. It randomizes the number pad every time you unlock, so someone watching over your shoulder can't easily figure out your pin. Find it in settings, security and privacy, device unlock, screen lock, and then enable scramble pin input layout. These settings protect you from casual snooping and shoulder surfing. Next, radios and auto off settings. Airplane mode is my default when I'm at home. Location is off by default, unless I need navigation. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning are already turned off by default on Graphene OS, which is great. But here's what I add. Automatic Wi-Fi and Bluetooth shut off. Go to Settings, Security and Privacy, Exploit Protection. I have Wi-Fi turn off automatically after one minute of not being connected and Bluetooth after 10 minutes. Why keep them on when you're not using them? These habits can dramatically reduce your phone's background chatter and attack surface. Those are your quick wins. Airplane mode by default, location off, auto Wi-Fi and Bluetooth shut off. But if you want to take your privacy further, the next sections are where it gets really powerful. VPN protection, private eSIM and phone numbers, and app isolation. This is the stuff that separates a basic Graphene OS setup from a truly private phone. Let's keep going. Now, my VPN setup. At home, I run a router level VPN, so all my devices are protected without having to think about it. But when I leave home and connect to other networks, I use Always On VPN with Mulvad VPN on my phone. Go to Settings, Network and Internet, VPN, tap the gear next to Mulvad, and enable Always On VPN and Block Connections Without VPN. That's your kill switch. It stops your internet traffic if the VPN drops. Kill switch can be inconvenient with captive portals, such as what you'll see at hotels and airports. And if you run into that, you may need to temporarily disable the kill switch to get through, then turn it back on. I don't use captive portals very often, so this rarely comes up for me. I also use custom DNS filtering through Next DNS for ad blocking and tracker prevention. But that's a topic I can cover in a separate video. Now, your phone number. This one's a major tracking vector. Silent.link is my eSIM for data. You can pay privately, and it adds separation between your real identity and your cellular connection. It's not magic anonymity, but it's a big privacy upgrade. To add an eSIM on Graphene OS, go to Settings, Network and Internet, SIMs, add eSIM, and follow SilentLink's setup instructions. It's really quick and easy. For phone numbers, I use Brax.me and JMP.chat. Brax.me is great for receiving SMS codes on a number that isn't tied to my identity. You can get multiple voice over IP phone numbers for different use cases and even make calls with them if you connect to a SIP app like Linphone. JMP.chat is excellent, 
because you can buy phone numbers and text and call with them directly from the Keogram app. It's based on XMPP, an open communication protocol that ensures transparency and freedom from vendor lock-in. It's free open source software, and it works really well once you set it up. This is an excellent phone number solution alongside SilentLink. If you do need a real physical SIM card with a phone number, maybe for work or family, you can go buy a prepaid SIM with cash and avoid KYCing yourself when setting it up. Know that if you use data at all, you're less private, but it's necessary for many people. Personally, I use SilentLink, Rax.me, jmp.chat, and I also have a prepaid SIM card that I occasionally turn on, but I really avoid ever using my real phone number for calls or texts. I'd rather use a Brax or jmp.chat voice over IP number for that, or better yet, signal chat. The key is separation, eSIM for data, voice over IP for communication, and your real number will stay hidden. Next, user profiles, private space, and keeping apps minimal. User profiles let you create completely separate environments on your phone. If you need banking apps, for example, maybe to deposit checks or verify logins, you can put them in a separate profile to keep them isolated from all of your other apps. Private space is a newer feature I just discovered. It's a hidden locked area on your phone where you can put sensitive apps you don't want on your home screen. It's another layer of separation without needing a full second profile. My rule, if I can do it in a browser, I don't install the app. Banking, browser. Shopping, browser. The browser is sandboxed, asks for fewer permissions, and makes it easier to clear data and separate logins. Apps track more aggressively and demand more access. I keep my app count as low as possible. Fewer apps means a smaller attack surface, less data exposure. Graphene OS makes this easy because Vanadium, the default browser, is private, secure, and fast. One last setting, auto reboot. Here's why I use this. A reboot returns your phone to a fully locked state before first unlock. That's the most secure baseline if your phone is ever lost or stolen. It clears the RAM and forces full re-authentication. How to set it up? Go to Settings, Security and Privacy, Exploit Protection. I have my phone set to restart automatically. Mine restarts every four hours, but you can set your own schedule. So here's the full system. Hide lock screen notifications. Scramble pin input layout. Airplane mode is on by default and location is off. Auto Wi-Fi and Bluetooth shut off when they are not in use. Router level VPN at home. Always on VPN on my phone when I'm not at home. VPN kill switch. Silent link eSIM for data. Rax.me and JMP chat for voice over IP numbers. Prepaid SIM card bought with cash, no KYC. User profiles to separate banking apps. Private space to hide apps. Browser first, don't install apps unless you absolutely need to. And finally, auto reboot schedule. This is what I actually use. There are no Google services on my phone, minimal apps, privacy and security are baked into my daily habits. If you found this helpful, please give the video a like and subscribe to Sovereign Privacy. If you have any questions about the settings and methods discussed in this video, let me know in the comments. And if you need help setting up Graphene OS on your Google Pixel, please check out the video on the left for more information on what apps you need to install on your new Graphene OS phone. Check out the video on the right. Thanks for watching. Stay private and I'll see you in the next video.